Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 14th, 2021. Well, my goodness, yesterday we had kind of an interesting day. The CPI number came in extremely hot. As a matter of fact, it was the highest reading since um, 1981 and um, that gave the market just a little bit of pause what was interesting is we really didn't have significant selling at all however we did make some technical damage in the index charts and we left behind a little bit of concern and um, or maybe some caution with some candle patterns so how about we grab ourselves something to drink let's settle into our office chairs Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at um, how these markets are setting up for this morning and um, what these charts might be telling us about how we might want to approach the day. First off, we definitely have a bullish market. The bulls are still in control. And although we did see a little bit of selling yesterday, in the diamonds for sure, there was no technical damage. Notice that we pushed back just a little bit yesterday. No technical damage, holding on to price support in the chart. No harm, no foul. As a matter of fact, you've got to really draw this up in here. Look at the trend. Everything is looking pretty copacetic here in the Dow, at least at the moment. However, we did leave behind just a little bit of a concerning candle pattern. We tried to push up, but didn't make it make it through and that leaves that little bit of a topping type pattern showing up here in the chart however i will say that that really will mean nothing unless it follows through to the downside and as you can see they're trying to pump this up this morning off of the off of the lows overnight trying to put on a brave face ahead of the ppi number and bank earnings so if if that were to follow through today to the downside that could really start to confirm um, this candle right here and could become a little bit of a problem but overall i gotta still give this up to the bulls the bulls are very much in control um, uh, however, we do have a data point coming out here before the market opens that could change a little bit of the market sentiment. So let's take a um, look at the SPY, SPY. SPY did a really nice job yesterday early on, but then once again, those big techs started to sell off at the end of the day. And that pushed us back down. So we had a new record high in the SPY and then gave it up before the day was over, pushing back down. And once again, leaving just that little concern up here um, that we may have a little bit of a topping pattern starting to develop. Now, overall, we are in a very, very bullish condition in the chart. You can certainly see here lots and lots of bullishness in this run to the upside. However, I will say that we are a little bit extended away from price support levels and our 50 day moving average. So it wouldn't be um, out, of, out of the question to see the markets maybe get a little pullback or even just a little consolidating rest um, in the market as we sort through some of this inflation um, information. So just watch that close. Once again, this doesn't mean much of anything unless it follows through to the downside, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, let's take a look at the Qs. Now the QQQ probably left behind the most concerning of the patterns. We were really trying to uh, bum rush the market yesterday and it was it was really just big techs doing the majority of the lifting uh, there were a few others out there like um, PepsiCo and Coca-Cola had a nice day and we had um, Visa and things like that having a nice day but it was really big techs doing all of the work and we tried to push that up yesterday and then boy it Toward the end of the day, we really gave it up pretty quickly. And that leaves behind that shooting star pattern up here. That is a little bit of a concern. Now, once again, that's only going to matter if that follows through 
to the downside. I'm sorry, that didn't work very well. Um, that's only going to matter if that follows through to the downside. If we get a consolidation, if we push it up, means nothing. As a matter of fact, it pretty much invalidates that pattern. So while there's a little bit of caution raised by that, um, overall the bulls are still definitely in control and there just seems to be um, a, a wild desire to buy up big tech um, no matter what the price is. And then we had some news here um, that um, Apple is ramping up its production. They're expecting a huge season of iPhone conversions. So um, I, it's entirely possible that Apple could continue to rise uh, to the upside and continue lifting these indexes higher. So just keep a close eye on that. Then let's take a look at IWM. Now, if there is some technical damage yesterday, it came in IWM. IWM clearly saw some selling yesterday, uh, pulling back. So we have a downtrend. This is confirmed downtrend where we make lower lows, lower highs, and lower lows. And now we've created another lower low. And the technical problem here in this chart is the failure underneath the 50 day moving average. Notice that at that Russell is showing that 50 day moving average flattening out and maybe starting to roll over. This is a pretty, pretty ugly failure here at that 50 day. And so some technical damage um, is beginning to show up here in the Russell. Now, whether that can help drag the rest of the markets down, I don't know. But it is that little bit of warning that should add just a little tiny bit of caution um, if you're um, thinking about rushing into any trades because, uh, well, just that possibility that sentiment could shift here uh, just a little bit based on those inflationary numbers. So just watch that close and be kind of careful here. Um, maybe just a little tiny clue. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX, interestingly enough, um, showed a little bit of rising fear yesterday coming in. Nothing major, but a little bit of an increase in fear. Now keep in mind that we're still below our 50 day moving average here in the chart. And if we take a look um, and I put some drawings on the chart, you can see we're holding this price support in here. Um, you would think as we were trying to push to new record highs in the SPY and the QQQ yesterday, we would have seen um, the VIX dropping, but that didn't occur. The VIX held up really, really well yesterday. So no major fear here on this, just a little bit of hint, hmm, just a little concern on that fear, on that inflation. And if we get additional inflationary data points, that could create a little bit of a problem for us. So just keep an eye on it. Nothing major to be overly concerned about just yet. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now, it was kind of interesting yesterday, T2122, in that um, it seemed like we had modest to almost no selling going on in the market. But look at the reaction to T2122. Now, what that means is the vast majority of stocks um, in the market w was moving south um, yesterday. Not not heavily south, but they were moving south yesterday. And um, that created this significant pullback here in T2122. Now what that tells us is if we can get pi past these data points this morning, and uh, shake off these inflationary worries that we have opened up a pretty sizable upside opportunity to, to move up. So if we can find reason to shake that off and, and not worry about it, um, we'll want to um, watch that closely. Um, but also keep in mind that we haven't finished this up to the downside either. We still have more downside potential to reach that bearish reversal zone down here as well, which means that we could still see some additional selling should um, we get some data points that shake the market just a little bit. Um, let's take a look at our T2101. Um, this is still um, not good. Um, not good that we continue, um, as we tried to push up yesterday, T2101 uh, continuing to fall. 
So not really a good sign for the market. It's, it's our market breadth is really weak. Um, it is suggesting that at any point in time we get that we get that um, snap in the market, we shouldn't be surprised by it, or that break in the market, we shouldn't be surprised by it. And we will likely see that market breadth increase really quickly. So watch that closely and carefully. Um, we're wound up pretty tight here on that upside move. And it only takes a little stumble to really get us moving um, the other direction. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar is definitely something we want to be paying attention to because we've got a couple data points on here that could move us around first off the early this morning we've got before the market opens we have the ppi now ppi data is suggesting that the producer price costs is going down that's the that's the analyst expectation is that it's going to go down however as we saw yesterday the CPI cost going up that might mean that um, our PPI could come in hotter than expected as well so watch this closely if producer prices come in less than expected we, we would likely see the market just shake off any inflationary worries and rally because of this um, massively bullish sentiment that we have in the market. There's just a, a rush uh, to buy anything and it really doesn't matter the price, just a rush to spend some money and put money at risk. However, if that number were to come in hotter than expected, we might see those bears um, get a little bit more feisty so watch that closely on that number this morning here um, an hour before the market opens so we can have a lot of price action around that move and then uh, keep in mind we've got petroleum status report out here at 10 30 and then at noon we've got powell speaking in congress uh, for the next couple of days and um, of course he's probably going to be pressed pretty hard um, by some congress folks about um, inflation and uh, um, interest rates. So watch that carefully. If we learn anything new there um, for his thinking, that could certainly move the markets. And then later on today, we have the beige book. I don't know anybody cares uh, about that. So, um, but these these three items this morning could certainly have some potential market moving um, aspects. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we have around 20 companies reporting earnings today. At uh, least listed on the list. And we have several notables that I'm going to go over here really quick. We've got BAC. BAC. It looks like BAC reported and um, at least at the moment disappointing um, the market here just a little bit. BAC has been in a downtrend and unfortunately failing its 50-day moving average. Um, this move lower, um, not helpful um, for the financial sector and we'll want to watch that price support right there. If we were to slip through that, that could be a little bit critical for BAC. Uh, BLK, BlackRock, um, whoops. Um, BlackRock produced a strong earnings report, a very strong earnings report. But here again, we are pushing back this morning, a little bit of a negative reaction to that news report. However, at, um, at this point in time, we're holding that price support in the chart. So I think nothing is really bad here on that chart, as long as we can hold that support and really hang in there on that trend. Although we're pulling back this morning in that, um, after that uh, news came out so watch that close and then let's take a look at Citibank now Citibank also moving a little bit lower and unfortunately Citibank is below its 50-day moving average it had a real structural break here in um, some support in that chart so this was going I think this report's going to be really critical are we going to be able to break this downtrend and get back above here and hold uh, or are we going to continue to sink and continue to extend um, this downtrend to the downside? Watch that closely. We're also going to hear from PNC Financial. PNC continuing in its downtrend. You can see a little bit of bearishness there in those financial sectors um, across the board. Um, but however, PNC, this is a kind of a critical place right there along its 50-day moving average. Um, if that 
uh, can find some inspiration, we could easily pop above that downtrend. But right now it's looking like it could um, follow through a little bit on the bearish side. And what we'll have to watch closely is this little upside trend. And if it breaks that and breaks this low, um, that downtrend is in play. So watch that closely on PNC. We're also going to hear from Delta Airlines. Delta uh, been moving down pretty substantially here. Um, shouldn't be a major surprise just by virtue of the fact of the complications after COVID, rising energy prices, all those things. Uh, kind of working against um, the airlines here. So they're trying to perk up a little bit here this morning, but let's watch that downtrend. Um, and, um, oh, I'm, I forgot to mention WFC. WFC also reporting today. It's trying to pop up this morning. It's, it's trying to defy the other banks. Um, still in a downtrend, still below its 50-day moving average. That'll be interesting if that pushes up through. And the last I have on the list today, um, INFY, and this is um, obviously really responding bullishly to its earnings report, looking for a big gap up here. Nice upside trend, looking very, very good here on INFY. So let's um, take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos and if you find these videos to be worthy if you feel like you gained some information out of this and this was helpful for your day please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment it's those comments and that engagement to the to the video that helps the algorithm show the video to more folks. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. It means a lot to me. Truly, truly appreciate it. And also just that big shout out for those folks that are taking um, or supporting the channel through the buy me a coffee link just right below the title of the video there's a link I'm you're not actually buying me a coffee I'm using those funds to um, improve um, channel content so thank you so much to those of you who have been so kind and generous to support the channel that way let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and please realize guys that this is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact i um, i am very strict on this that everyone needs to be following their own plan they need to understand the risk of every trade that they take and they should never ever just blindly follow someone else's analysis of a chart and um, trade those trades. Make sure you understand um, your risk tolerance for every trade. Let's take a look at a couple of charts that I think um, have some potential here. I placed an alert on KMI yesterday. Now KMI ended up pulling back just a little bit yesterday, but I wanna watch this closely, KMI, um, rather interesting pattern in here notice we get this little rising low we've seen energy holding up relatively well and we'll have to wait and see if we can break from the bottom of this channel back toward the upside of that channel watch that closely kmi might be trying here got some work yet to do but certainly keep an eye on it um i think you're gonna have to keep an eye on apple today um apple continuing to surge and look at this big surge up here um with that news that they are expecting a big increase in iphone sales um this year obviously that's yet to be seen whether they actually will um they believe everybody's going to be trying to take advantage of 5g um we shall see but watch that closely apple very very strong today and that's going to influence a big portion of the market remember apple's weight of the market is so huge it affects the diamonds the spy and the qqq dramatically so keep an eye on that and let's keep in mind that we are breaking out to all-time highs here in um, Apple. So very, very strong in that chart as we continue this, this rush. There just seems to be um, no price too high. And I have to say, I'm a little bit concerned that um, Apple is becoming very parabolic, which makes it very dangerous to be chasing, but keep a close eye on it. Um, uh, Microsoft 
is another one of those that continues to just kind of defy gravity here, continuing to push up. Now we did get a little bit of a pullback or rest here in Microsoft, and that helps a little bit. I, I don't like to see those charts that where we just run and run and run and run, and there's never a pullback. That makes them very dangerous. However, here in Microsoft, we did get that little teeny tiny rest, so that rest creates a little bit of a support level in there. That helps with the risk aspect of this trade. So keep an eye on Microsoft as that continues to um, move up. And well, look pretty good overall. You might want to take a look at Nokia. Now, Nokia had a really big pop yesterday. Um, Nokia, I, I, again, this wouldn't be anything I would want to chase into, but watch that carefully um, with that big pop. Any rest or consolidation pullback, and keep in mind our trend is all the way out here. It may have to rest for a little while, but watch that for that next opportunity in the trade um, that could um, get things moving. You might want to keep an eye on retail. Oh my goodness. Um, Costco. Costco, very, very strong here. Notice we had a little bit of a pullback, but we're holding up very well here in Costco and we continue to hold on to this little trend. We could be set up in here for that next opportunity to move on higher. Keep an eye on Costco. Keep an eye on Home Depot. Home Depot, pretty nice day, um, not yesterday with that pullback, but pretty nice looking uh, price pattern in the chart. Notice we've broken that downtrend. What we're trying to do right now is confirm whether or not this area right in here is price support. So watch this little pullback in here. If that holds, that still has that opportunity to push on through to the upside. So keep a close eye on it. Now we saw a lot of that back and forth yesterday and cannabis was one of those that did some of that back and forth. Um, and notice that TLRY tried to get moving yesterday, tried to pop and then gave it all up at the end of the day. Now sometimes that can be a little bit of a bullish clue that buyers are ready to start pushing up in here. They just weren't able to sustain that yesterday. So watch that carefully. If we can break these downtrends here in this cannabis and hold some support, then there may be some upside opportunity. But right now it's not ready for prime time just yet, as you can see. Just um, keep a close eye on that. Take a look at Lowe's. Um, Lowe's setting up a nice little pattern in here. Had a little selling yesterday, showing a little bit of pop in that price action here today. One thing I will point out is there is a fairly significant level of price resistance right in here that we're trying to deal with, but we're also holding on to this price support. So if we can gain a little bit of love here, we might be able to be ready to pop through here on Lowe's and get going. Lowe's may be coming around to the upside again. Retail seems to be pretty darn, uh, pretty darn strong. You might want to take a look at Target. Um, whoops. Target showing lots of bullishness here. We just continue to run and run and run here in Target. Now be a little bit careful because once again, there really has been no pullback, no support level uh, put in this chart. But that, as you can see, we're just running hard here in Target. Any rest or consolidation in here would set up that opportunity to the upside. So keep a close eye on it. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention, if you're looking for um, short trade, it might be, uh, you might want to take a look at um, XLF or any of the financials. XLF. Um, running into a little bit of trouble here. Notice the 50 day moving average starting to flatten and even um, might be ready to roll over. Uh, another failure here at that 50 day moving average starting to show up. So a little bit of problem showing up here in those financials if you're looking for a short trade. So with that guys, I want to wish you all a great day in your trading. Thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. Please click those thumbs up buttons. Please share this video out there on your social media feed. That helps a lot. I want to wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have a great day everyone.